Hello and welcome to another episode of Atomic Vinyl Reviews. My name's Jacob and today we're doing another unboxing video. Let's get started. Uh, so this box comes to me kind of in a strange little way. It has just a weird, uh, it's a cardboard box, but it has an open top with just styrofoam that's been taped onto the top basically and a bunch of fragile stickers. So this is going to be interesting, but <laughs> let's get right into it. I'll just slice through all that tape. And hopefully this won't create too much of a mess when we take off this styrofoam. Because uh, we all know styrofoam can be a bit of a pain. But this could be one of two things. So I'm not going to announce what it is until I actually see it opened. But hopefully it's something awesome. Okay. There we go. <laughs> so we got another box in here. That's good. Very safely packaged. With that really weird loose styrofoam at the top. And huzzah! Okay, so this is what I was expecting. We've got the X Plus Yuji Sakai uh, Godzilla 2001. And I'm super hyped about this because for the for starters, I don't get uh, X Plus figures very often. I have a little growing collection uh, happening now. Um, actually, far more than I ever expected that I would have, honestly. But uh, this is my first Yuji Sakai modeling collection one. And. I'm really excited to get into this one, okay? Because um, this uh, design of Godzilla happens to be one of my favorites. And especially uh, Yuji Sakai's take on it. I just saw images of this guy and oh, I just became so tempted because he just really nails this design. Like, I think it might be a little bit stylized, but I love this, this the way the way he sculpts this, uh, this design. So, let's uh, get in here. Uh, how do we open this box again? It's like a flap, yeah, to cut it around the back. So I should have brought in a little scalpel knife here, because this scissors might not cut it as cleanly, but that's uh, okay. Okay, so we cut that, and there's one more here. There we go. Okay, so with X Plus bo boxes, they always open out from like the side they have this extended flap, which I don't know why they do, but they do. So you guys are going to be able to see the figure first. There it is. Look at that. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, brand new X Plus figure. It smells very fresh, so this one's nice new one, never been opened. <laughs> He's all, all wrapped up in plastic and zip tied or whatever to the, this uh, little box here. Okay. Wow, he looks nice and chunky. So I'll just put our little box here. Hopefully that'll stay there for display purposes. There we go. Comes with a little instruction manual that probably just tells us how to put on his tail. Yeah, normal stuff. We all know we use a hair dryer. Just undo these. of these zip, uh, not zip ties, just wires that are twisted around. Oh, and this plastic thing is kind of breaking. That's not good. Well, at least he made the journey here all safe, so that's what matters. But yeah, you can kind of see this, uh, this plastic um, thing is just broken on the side here. We did it! He's finally out. Oh my god. Ooh. So there he is. He's wearing his gloves and his socks. Um, as all these figures always do. So he's also got the wire that just peeps, peeks through his spines here. So we can just pull that out. And there we go. A bit of plastic. Okay. So don't fall backwards. Put that there. 
So it is really nice that they do protect these figures quite well. They have these little gloves and socks for them, so they're just taped up. Very nice. Wow. Oh, these things always look so good in person. Oh, he's even got little plastic socks on top of his um, soft plastic sock. He's got little shoes. <laughs> Steel cap boots just to protect him. Uh, just the front of his claws. So yeah, these ones are slightly shorter X-Plus figures, but then again, most of the X-Plus figures I have tend to be on the shorter side, apart from maybe my Gigan and 54 Godzilla. Maybe the 64 as well, but I don't know. Uh, most X-Plus figures seem to vary in height anyway, so I'm not really bothered that these guys are slightly shorter, because the Yuji Sakai sculpts are always, always a win. And this one looks so nice. Uh, he's, he's just got that, a very lively expression on him. Even though he has those uh, really <laughs> very uh, undead sort of eyes. And, and But he has this really sort of cute expression to him. So come on camera, focus. Okay, there you guys can see him a little more clearly there. Looking really cool. Oh man. Just the detail on that. So I'm going to get him out a little more and then we'll see if we can put his tail on. Nice. Okay, there's one tail. And his little stand. Because uh, most Yuji Sakai tends to like to um, sculpt his, these figures with uh, the tail raised above the ground. I don't know why. Um... It does look pretty cool, but you do have to use little stands. So these these figures are actually um, recast from um, resin kits. So they basically what X Plus did is they turned a resin kit version of this figure and they turned him into a, a a vinyl version. So that's kind of interesting that they did that. <laughs> But it also uh, means that this figure is a tiny bit smaller because apparently something about the recasting process makes it shrink a little bit. I don't know how true that is or not, but um, it we he, he also comes with these little uh, vinyl grey stands. Very similar to the stands that you get with your uh, X Plus uh, Kamatakun figure. So here is our beautiful, beautiful little Kamatakun here. And he comes with this sort of little grey vinyl stand, and that just helps prop his tail up. Uh, so he's in his nice sort of crawling pose. And this guy's uh, stand is pretty much identical, made of the same identical plastic. It's a bit bigger though. Uh, but yeah, you get the basic idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away, and I'm going to use a hairdryer just to heat up the back of him here. And uh, we'll try and put that tail in, and we'll see what how this guy looks afterwards. So, there we go guys, uh, just put on the tail, pretty simple stuff, uh, when you're putting on tails onto figures like this, always heat up the body and not the tail, in fact, if you want it to work even better, put the tail in a freezer, so the, the plastic hardens up really, really hard, and then you put the, you know, the, you use a heat gun, blow dryer, not a heat gun, <laughs> that'll probably melt the plastic, but you know, a hair blow dryer on the tail, and uh, that'll heat it up and you know you can put the tail in with no problems so there we go now he's now he's properly standing we've got his little stand here and there he is uh this guy's just fantastic loving this thing such an awesome classic design and this is just such a great version of it just from every angle i'm looking at this thing i'm really loving it i'm loving the the, the paintwork on this thing is awesome the sculpt is crisp and flowing and organic and beautiful uh, the, even just like the teeth on this thing look very bone-like and it's really cool. So I'll just, um, I'll save more of my opinions for my full review of this guy, which will be coming out sometime in the near future. But let's just bring in a couple of other uh, versions of this Godzilla that I happen to have on hand. We have this uh, clear uh, movie theater exclusive Bandai vinyl. He's a nice tall Bandai vinyl, which I love. One of my favorite figures, actually. We've got the NECA version. He's a bit derpy looking, but still a cool figure. There we go. And we got the Monster Arts version, which is also sculpted by Yuji Sakai. So you can kind of see similar similarities between these two. 
But this X Plus is already definitely my favorite one out of all of these. He's just such a beautiful figure. Oh man, super loving this thing. Um, and yeah, that's probably it for this little unboxing here. I will go into more depth with this thing. And I'll also show him uh, next to a uh, custom sculpt that I've been working on of this design for some time. Uh, but uh, I've been making that out of polymer clay. And uh, I left it, you know, half finished for probably too long and it started to crumble. So polymer clay is like an oven bake clay, basically. So I hope that one, one day I can actually um, fix and build and, and, and actually use because I was pretty proud of it. Um, but for now, I'll just leave, leave you guys with, uh, with these guys. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe and all that jazz and uh, make, make sure your vinyl is a radiated vinyl. Over and out.